welcome to my channel so i'm back with another story time and i'm back and i'm ready to tell another story just a fair warning this story is kind of rated r so i'm gonna try my best to tell the pg version of it but it's still a good story and i hope you guys like it i'm not gonna talk too much in the intro i'm just gonna get right to it but like always i'm gonna be drinking and again, it's just water, okay? I don't have anything. Um, but if you guys want to drink with me or anything you guys want, go get them and let's just get started. I was like 21 years old when this happened. And, you know, it all started when I moved out out of my grandparents. I was living in apartments and it was that apartment of that ghost that I saw there. Well, in that apartment, we met some friends and they would always go to our apartments. And... You know, we would always hang out, we would always throw parties and, you know, have fun. And one day, this group of friends, they're like, hey, how about we plan a trip to Ridoso? Um, They wanted to go see, like, the racetracks and, like, just have fun over there during the weekend. And, yeah, you know, like, I was excited. I loved Ridoso. It's about two hours away from El Paso, so I was like, it's... You know, it's not that far. We could go. We could, we could rent a room at a hotel and, you know, and have fun that weekend. So I was pretty excited that we were going to go. So this group of friends, um, we're going to name them. I'm going to name him one Nate. Um, I've been watching a lot of Euphoria, so we're just going to pick names from there, okay? <laughs> so the first one, his name is going to be Nate. The second one, um, her name's going to be Cassie. Because they were going out. And then um, the third one, he's really cool. I actually talk to him still. So his name's going to be... We're going to call him Fest, okay? But anyway, so it was Nate, Cassie, Fess, me, and my boyfriend. So we were all going to, all five of us, we're going to go to Rioso and spend the weekend over there. I was busy with work, so I didn't really help out in planning this trip. So guys were the ones that planned this trip. I get home one day and they ask, like, hey, do you guys find a hotel? And my boyfriend tells me, like, yeah, like, we found a hotel. It's just, I don't know what to think about it. And I was like, Why? He was telling me that Nate is kind of, I don't want to say he's cheap, but he's kind of cheap, okay? And it's not that. It was mostly Nate and Cassie were about to have a baby and, you know, like they had to save money and I understand that part, okay? Like, I'm not saying he's like complete cheap. It's just that right now they didn't have like a lot of money to just spend and like stuff, you know, other than the baby. So... He did say, like, hey, let's just stay at this hotel. And, you know, like, honestly, if it was up to me, I would probably spend a little bit more because I think that it's worth it just because I want to be comfortable and I want, you know, to have the best experience as I possibly can when it comes down to visiting other places but you know like I wasn't gonna be that person no I'm not gonna stay there so I end up being like yeah like that's fine like let's just stay there let's just book it and let's go so finally we are ready to go our things are packed and we're ready so we end up going to this trip and you know, I was excited, I was ready, and we get there. It was at night. I remember we arrived already like super, super late because I think I was going to work or someone was going to work. So we get there super late. We go in the hotel. Girl, this was like red flag number one because it was just so weird. Um, Once we get there... It was a chaos like we we're on calls we we're also like dealing with the customer and like they had like another couple waiting it was just a mess so it was like red flag number one but i kind of just like okay they have a busy night like i understand let's just you know get to my room because i was super tired even though you know, like, it was two hours, but I was still tired. They fixed everything, right? They kind of dealt with all of the clients, and they're like, okay, like, 
No, it's your turn. So it was our turn and hey, uh, we booked a room in this hotel and we're here. And she just tells us like, okay, like what's your name? And she checks it. And I think what happened was that uh, we booked like, like all the rooms were in the same level. What happened was that they booked our room to another family and they had to give us like another room in another level and like I want to stick together with everybody but it's fine I will take the top level and you guys take the other ones so they kind of just like apologize and they're like we're sorry and they say that because we booked it in this other website that we could go to their website and they will refund us money and I was like Oh really? Okay. So anyways, what happened was that our friends, you know, they got their keys and they went to their room and that's it. Like, they were fine. Hi. <laughs> so we had to go to another level. We went up and then we tried our card. So we tried and we pass it and it doesn't open. And then again, we try and we pass it and it doesn't open. So we're like, okay, like we need help. So we went downstairs and we tell her like, hey, like our door is not opening. It keeps on like turning red. So it's not working. And she's like, okay, this happens a lot. So let me go help you. Let me see if I can fix it. So she goes and girl, <clears throat> red flag number two. Why? Because... I'm not judging, okay, you do you, but when we went to the elevator, obviously the girl that worked there went with us, and she brought a little tray, okay? She had this tray, and she ended up opening the compartment once we were in the elevator, and she pulls up, like, wraps, and she pulls up tobacco, and girl, first, you know, like, I kind of look at her and I thought it was something else, but then I realized that it was tobacco and that she was rolling a cigar. And, you know, it's totally legal. You could totally do that. You could smoke tobacco. Um, but it was weird because she was doing it, like, right there, right in front of us. And I was just like, huh, that's a little strange. But, you know, oh, well, like I said, I am not going to be judging. So, like, I was like, okay, that's fine. So we finally end up getting to our room and she tries it, she goes like this and it's not working. She tried to open it and it's not working. So finally like she did something and where it opened and she closed it and then she tried it again and it didn't open. So she's like, you know what, I don't want you guys to struggle with this. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to give you just another room. She's all like, I'm going to give you a room in that level that your friends are at and I was like oh cool like even better so finally like she gave us another card we went to her room and I was like okay like at least we're in the same level like it's fine the other one didn't work um but at least we're with her friends so we get to her room and girl flag number three why because this room and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with like two rooms are connected by a door it's fine you know i stayed plenty of hotels with like that door in the middle but you know most of the time it's locked like it has a lock that you could just lock in that's it from both sides right well this one had a chair <laughs> it literally had a chair just against it that was the lock and I was like, no, like, are you kidding me? I was like, first of all, I don't know who's next to us, okay? Like, and honestly, I don't trust anyone. So, like, I'm kind of scared to leave my stuff here. And, you know, I just felt uncomfortable because it was literally, like, a chair just, like, there. And I was like, really? So then we went to our other friend's room. We went to Fez's room. And, you know, his was pretty nice and it didn't have like that chair against the door or anything. So we stayed the majority of the time over there. And, you know, we were just having fun. We were playing games. We were, you know, doing our thing. When I think we needed something. I'm not exactly sure 
what it was, but it was something that we had to go downstairs and ask um, someone if they could help us out. This is the part where it's like definitely all the flags, okay? All the flags, like, like no, like this part is, it's a little crazy, so. First, I need a tree. So then, like normal, we get downstairs and we see the employee that attended us at the beginning and then again like we get there and there's like chaos people everywhere she's trying to fix everything and it's just a mess but we see another employee there and she wasn't necessarily helping her but they were asking her questions too and she was answering so she was an employee but she had her baby with her and when i saw this girl okay like she was she looked kind of weird because it looked like she was trying to bite her ear and <laughs> i know this sounds so weird okay like when i looked at her like first like you know she was kind of answering questions and all of a sudden she would do a face and it looked like she was biting her ear and she was i'm gonna look crazy but i would do it she was kind of going like like that and between like talking and i saw her and i was like what like am i seeing things but she was doing it like so often like a lot that i was like huh that's kind of weird and then she had her baby with her i remember she was so cute and i just kind of stared at her and finally we like they helped us out and after that like we, we went into the elevator and nate he's like did you see that girl and we're like yeah like what was going on with her like that was kind of weird and he's like yeah uh well i think that she was on a substance and i was like what on what and he's all like you know that powder i guess you could say um that's what she was doing and, I, and to me you know i have to say like i don't know the basics you know but like hardcore substances like that i don't know okay it's not my thing like i i i haven't really like seen a whole lot of that like i've seen a little bit but you know like i'm not an expert so when like that was going on i didn't put like one and one together and like oh they're doing this you know like no like i was just kind of like what like maybe she i don't know she has something but you know nate told us like like i know this i like they kind of get this reaction when you're doing these kind of things and i was like oh i was like that's why probably they're up and they're doing their job and they're you know answering everybody's questions and i was like huh it kind of makes sense so it was late so we went to our room and i started hearing the door open and close open and close the one next to us and i was like why are they going in and out so much right like i was like what this is weird but again you just heard the door open and close open and close and i think my boyfriend went out and he was gonna go ask our friend i think nate something so he goes out and he when he comes back he tells me that he saw the lady that was attending us at the beginning that she went into that room the one next to us and you know what there it kind of just clicked i was like they are using that room that is right next to us and they're doing their thing and i wasn't comfortable oh no i was like really like really like you guys are doing that because he saw like her going in and going out that's just kind of weird and there was more people in there so i was like no like they're using that room to do that and they're right next to us okay they literally could just push that little chair and just get in the room so i was like girl i couldn't sleep that night it was just really bad i just thought it was honestly the worst hotel i ever stayed at and i honestly don't want to stay in that hotel ever again like i'm sorry 
but no thank you okay like i would rather stay somewhere where i could feel safe and i feel like my things are safe and more comfortable but to make it worse that trip we ended up ordering a pizza and it was raw and the cherry on top of that bad bad trip it wasn't all bad i can't complain i mean we did have fun the last day and you know that was pretty much it but that's it for my story i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching please subscribe please like thank you for watching my videos